So, <clears throat> you're new to the truth. You're new to this way of life. You're uh, coming out of the Sunday church. You're starting to understand the truth of the Torah. And you're starting to realize that you've been deceived and you've been lied to. And the Spirit is leading you into the truth of the Word. So now you're excited. You've learned this truth, you're excited, and now you want to tell your family. You want to tell them, hey, listen, look, what we've been doing is wrong. All these years we've been lied to, we've been deceived. We shouldn't be worshiping on Sunday. We should be worshiping on the seventh day, on the Lord's Shabbat, on the Lord's Sabbath. The Ten Commandments are not nailed to the cross. We're actually supposed to keep doing that. In fact, that's part of the covenant. We're supposed to be keeping His holy feast days. His holy feasts. His holy days. They're His actual plan for us. You learn all this truth and you get excited. So what do you do next? See, the next thing you do is you go and you tell your family because when you got this truth, it is sweet. Sweet. It's a little tough, but it's sweet. And then they start to reject you. They start to say that you have lost your mind. You're crazy. What do you mean we've been doing this wrong all this time? What do you mean we can't celebrate Christmas or Easter? Who have you been talking to? What have you been reading? And then you become confused. You can't figure out for the life of you what is going on. I see this truth clearly now. The scales have fallen off my eyes. But your family thinks otherwise. They think you should have maybe a straight jacket or something on. Friends, it's kind of like what's said in the Bible when it is uh, sweet like honey in your mouth but bitter when it gets to your belly. It is sweet when you learn the truth. You understand who you are. You understand who Israel is. You understand that you're getting back into covenant with the Lord. But it's bitter when you try to share it with others. But it's no surprise because the Bible says that he did not come to bring peace but a sword and that a man's foe will be they of his own household so it's no surprise all I can say is you keep walking this walk you keep doing what you know is right according to the Bible you keep walking even if that means you walk alone it's gonna be tough Everyone has to work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. And as the word says, if they don't receive you, they don't want to hear what you have to say about God's word, you shake the dust off your feet. Because persecution is coming and the wheat and the tares have to come up together. So, you're new. If you're new to the word and you're new to this truth, just understand this is just the beginning. Shalom.